Okay, you guys, this is a queen frame from Mellow, ordered off of Amazon. And we're going to open it up and put it together. It has quite a few pieces. So what we're gonna do is set up, and we have a screw pack, and it looks like we have some legs for the, but I'm not sure if they're legs or not. They are legs, but I'm not sure exactly how they go. So I'm gonna lay out all the pieces like I always do. I'll say have pictures of the instructions in front of this video in case your package did not come with any. And we're gonna put this thing together. What's up you guys? We're about to put this frame together. It has a lot of pieces. One thing I want you guys to know about this frame is that they, they are numbered. The pieces are numbered, but they're also lettered according to the instructions. They are not lettered on each piece. So I'm going to show you the lettered pieces. Now, in every video, I always put a picture of the instructions in the front of my video because sometimes when you order a product, it does not come with instructions. Now, I'm going to go ahead on and give you the lettered pieces. And they are the pieces that are numbered with the number three on one end and the number one on the other end, that is going to be your V piece. The two, first of all, the two biggest pieces, those are your two A pieces. The two smaller pieces that has the, no the nooks on them, that's what I'm gonna call them. Those are your B pieces. Now. There's two other pieces that have the number three on them as well, but they are numbered number two, and they have and they have a nook on them. So that's going to be your C piece. You have A, B with the number one on them, C with the number two on them. Those are your A, B, C pieces. D is going to be these two short pieces right here. Those are your D pieces. Your E pieces, and they will have the number three on them, okay? Your E pieces are these two pieces that have this on the end. These are your E pieces, and they should be, it should be two of them, and they should be marked with the number four. There's one piece labeled F, and that's gonna be the shortest piece that we have, and it's the smallest piece. Now, the G, that would be your F. G is gonna be these two pieces right here. This is what they look like on the end. Those are your G pieces. And you will have eight pieces of the letter H. And they also came with this sticker that says, please peel off the upper strip. So I'm assuming that they mean this paper that they put on them. So. These are the letters because in the instructions, it's going to say 1A, 1B, like that. And so uh, 2C, it's not, they're not, the pieces are, are not, they don't have the letters on them. Now, what you can do is go to the Dollar Tree and get those little stickers that you use in a garage sale. And you can letter your pieces like that if, it, if you think that it will help you. But we're getting ready to put this thing together. You should also have a screw pack. And the screw pack is gonna be LSM. It's not that many screws to me, so it should not be that hard to put together. But as you can see, they use letters in the instructions, and so I just wanted to lay that out for you guys. Let's get started. First thing that the instruction is telling us to do is to take one of the B pieces and add it to the A piece. Remember, the A piece is the top frame up there. So, it wants me to add one and one. One and one. That's piece A, this is piece B. So, 
As you can see, B has the number three and the number one. But what it wants me to do is take piece, the side that says number one, and add it to the number one up here. This long piece right here has two numbers, one on this end, two on this end, and five on this end. So it's telling me to take B piece and add it to the end of A piece with the Allen wrench using M, the screw labeled M. So that's what we're about to do. It's said to put the screws in from the outside. As you can see, this is one and one touching each other, one and one. I'm gonna push my screws all the way through and then line them up. that I'm in is pretty dark because it doesn't have a light so my ring light just went out I'm gonna turn it back on in just a second after I squeeze so here's your allen wrench that came with it good enough now we're moving on to step two okay this is weird guys but what it's saying is take your second step after you put on the b piece you're gonna take one of the c pieces which you have two of and attach it to the first a piece so here it should say two and two on that end it's gonna say one and one because that's a and b and over here, it wants you to do attach A to B to C. So it sounds crazy, but that is what it's saying for us to do. So we're just gonna do what the instruction says. I had to stop for a second to make sure it was correct, but the notches here are facing upward like the letter U, so it makes sense. I just don't know how it's gonna come together yet, but we'll see. Let's go ahead on and put our screws in. It's going to take two M screws. We're going to use our Allen wrench. Okay, so just to be clear, this long piece that's laying down here, this is A piece. Over there, it should be a B piece attached to A. In that corner, it should say one and one. Those stickers should say one and one. Over here, this is one of the C pieces, and it should say two and two. Well, it says one, and, yeah, it says two and two. One and one there, two and two here, all your notches, facing the same direction. Let's move on to the next step. Okay, you guys, again, I told you that this is kind of weird, so I'm gonna try to explain it to you the best way that I can. Now we're gonna take the other end of the rail, which is our A piece. This is our second A piece. And we're gonna do the opposite of what we did here. Now, that this time, where the number one is on the end, it's going to be attached to 
your B piece that says number one on this end, and this time your C piece is gonna go over there. So if you remember, your C piece has that notch that looks like that. It's gonna be one here and one diagonal in that other corner over there on the other side, okay? So this end should be, have a straight edge at the top of your first A piece that we just put together. And this end right here is gonna be the one with the notch. And then we're just gonna switch it. So this end right here will have the straight edge piece. The other straight edge piece is over there diagonal. And then the uh, C piece that has the notch in it is gonna be diagonal from each other. So when they're looking the same diagonally, they are correct, okay? It just, it's just a weird setup. So we're gonna be using two M's and we're gonna put these in. Where's my other wrench? Here it is. Okay, so we're gonna be attaching this straight piece that says one and three. Your second B piece is gonna go in where it says number one. Your second C piece it's gonna go on the end that says two. I know, it's, it doesn't even look right, but that's what it says do, so that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna push our screws in. Line it up, it should say one and one. Your stickers here should say one and one. Okay, we have our B piece attached here, and now we're gonna attach our C piece on this end down here. Remember, your C piece is the one that looks like that, and it's gonna have the number three on it. We're gonna attach it to two. It should say two and two. It should say two and two. The stickers on it should say two and two. Just so you can see what it looks like. You have your C piece on one end and your straight edge on the other. I know, it's just that's just the way they said do it. So that's what we're gonna do. We're moving on to the next step. 
Okay, you guys, so the next step that it wants us to do is to add the two D pieces, which are like the side connectors, to our frame. Now, it looks weird, but that's what it's telling us to do. So that's what we're gonna do. I do wanna show you one thing. This has like a flat side, and then it has a side that has this. This will be facing inward. So as you're attaching, these two frames together, both ends together, you're going to have the one that has the lip on it facing inward. Now, I'm not sure exactly what they mean by this because it doesn't really line up to me exactly. But it does, but it there's still a hole here. I guess it's supposed to be there maybe for a different size frame, but that's what it's telling us to do. So again, that's what we're gonna do. So we're gonna go ahead on and attach. We're gonna go ahead on and attach. Let's line this thing up here. Two M's to this. Yep. And then we do the second one. This is the one that I'm concerned about because it doesn't seem like this would be this. Okay, you just kind of got to wiggle this back and forth a little. It's not totally connected or should I say touching so I'm not sure how stable this thing is gonna be that said but we'll see what it does so we're gonna go ahead on and tighten it up that's what it said do so that's what I always do So I always follow the instructions as to the way that they say put it together. And then if it um, doesn't work, I'll do whatever modification it is. I need to make it work for me um, as long as I can do that and the product still be sturdy and safe to use. Okay, I see what it's doing. And then you will be able to pull in and out. So. I get it now. It didn't look like that was going to work, but it, it is. And then we're down to our last two M's. So we'll go to this side here and we'll do the same thing. You're going to be adding the piece in with the lip facing inward, just like that. Okay. Okay, you guys, I want to explain something to you. I made a mistake on the D pieces. You will be able to slide that U shape from C piece inside it should be straight and i'm going to show you what i did so what i did was i actually had put this together wrong i had put this together wrong here it should be no holes that doesn't have the screw in it what i should have done was put that piece inside and i have it done over here for you this is the way it should actually look and you will be able to slide that piece inside so you got to wiggle it a little bit but it will connect and it will be straight because i kept saying to myself that it didn't look stable and that this is the incorrect way and this is the correct way okay again you guys you should be able to slide that piece together just push it together and it should look like this and then you will be slipping this on there okay you guys the next step is that we're gonna get ready to take we're going to take our e pieces which is uh the pieces that have the two holes in them that number should be number five. And 
there is like a strip on there. It says something in the end about that strip. So just leave that on there because I, it says something about only peel off something. So when we get there, we'll get there. These ends say up and you're going to be attaching it to the F piece. So we're attaching E to F. And you're going to be using the longest screw in the pack, which is in the L pack. And you're also going to go into the S pack and take out the washers because we will be using them here. So we're going to put our washers on. And this piece should say four. I'm going to go ahead and push my screw through both of them. It's the one that has the sticker that says up. And now I'm just going to screw it in. A little threshold that you gotta pass through, but it will go. Once I get it through, I'm gonna go ahead and attach this other one. tight and go back and finish up the other one. Okay. Now we are going to be attaching these ends right here of our E pieces to the middle of the frame, which has the number five on it. We're gonna screw those in on both ends with the short screws that are in the S pack. So you should have four, two for each end. Let's see which way it wants us to put these. This way. They're gonna go on the other side. Yeah, because there isn't a whole bunch of Line it up. One thing I noticed about the screws on that, on that F piece was it kind of didn't want, they didn't want to go through the second one. And I just kept wiggling it and kind of tapping the leg to line it up and then it did pass through like a little threshold and it came on through. Um, all the screws are easy to screw in. If you're having some problems, then you're not lined up correctly. 
Okay, you guys, the last thing that we have to do is to add, well, not the last thing, but before the last step, we're gonna add our G pieces. The G pieces have the knob on them and they have the little button. So, it's said to install them knob side down, but in no particular other way. So you're gonna have to press that button and push it down and they wouldn't go down, so I just hit it with the hammer uh, to make it go on in because it would go in and that it should go down when you press it but mine's did not and i didn't want to fight with it so the hammer sent it through the button popped out and now we have the two g pieces in place the last step is just to add i believe those are called the h pieces which are the last the very last pieces let's make sure i don't want to say it wrong yes you're gonna have eight h h h h pieces. Some of them have the non-slip tape. This is for the mattress. And what it says is that having the mattress slide side to side is no fun. That is why we include two non-strip tape slats to ease your bedtime routine. Please make sure to only remove the top vinyl strip and not the whole tank. Mine was already off on my G pieces. And so all I have to do now is just install these H pieces. And I guess the ones with the strip on them is saying that they go in the middle. So I'm just gonna lay them here. See if we can get them to go in. Just gotta press down on them. They seem to pop right in. And I'm gonna put these with the strip closer to the middle. It's um, because that's where the mattress is. I, I, I believe it was pointed out in the instructions to put these in the middle as well, but it just made sense, so that's why I'm gonna put them here. Um, We're just gonna make sure, but I'm sure it said, put them in the middle. It's showing me, yeah, the middle. And then these two pieces here, the G pieces, they already have it. So, but if your mattress is still moving all around, what I would do is just move these around and just put one opposite the other or wherever the mattress is sliding around the most, I will put one at the top and one at the bottom and then one in every other. That's how I would do it if your mattress is still sliding around because this is the type of frame that you don't need a box spring with. Um, I believe this is the, is it the 10 inch? This is the, the 14 inch. Um, I do believe that I'm gonna order another frame and it's gonna be 18 inches. I wanted it to be a little higher than this because I wanna use more, have more store, under bed storage. So, all we're doing now is just adding all the pieces in and pulling off this strip. And while I have you, let's just see what it's talking about. It is very sticky. Um, yeah, there's a sticker piece under there that's gonna hold that mattress. It's super sticky, so you shouldn't have any problems. That's about it. Before I put all these pieces in, I'm gonna reach through here and grab my trash. That is how you put this frame together. One thing that I'm gonna do for this video is that I'm going to label the pieces in the instruction. I will put the letter by each piece so that you can refer back to one page because what I did was I ended up tearing the instructions into sheets so I can flip them back and forth. But I would not have had to do that had they done that. And um, I'm gonna do it for you and it'll most likely be the very first picture in the video. I hope they helped ya.
Okay, as I was measuring this, I realized that I was going to have some hangover, but I actually did not. This is our mattress that is out of the box and it has been fluffing for two days. So you know when you buy the mattress in the box, you have to let it rise. So it did, it started out at eight inches and then it rose to nine inches and it's supposed to be at 10 inches now. And it's still at nine in some places it looks like. So they said let it fluff for three days. It's pretty high and it's pretty firm. I did. I do have a video on this mattress. It is from Amazon as well. As you can see, my springs on my corners are, they're still not ready yet. But uh, it's a pretty high, this is normal to me and I actually wanted it higher. So that's why I'm gonna buy the 18 inch frame. And we're still at like nine inches on this thing. So that's it you guys, the frame was to me, it was an easy frame. It just had a lot of pieces and I think they could have did a better job with the instructions. But again, I'm going to lay, uh, letter the instructions for you guys and it will be at the beginning of the video. I hope this video helped you guys.